Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices and the big tech stocks in the United States. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, December 9th, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And we have rallied a little bit today. We're up a 0.26% and we are trading above or just at 3,700. We're trading actually at 3,701.982 at this stage. So I was expecting a pullback. I'm still expecting a pullback. It's something similar to this. So roughly down towards the 20 exponential, that's where I'm expecting a pullback. So we can get rid of this at this point. So the closer we get to this exponential here, that's a roughly a fall of 1.7 percent that is what i'm looking for in order to enter this market because we are going to rally it is just not a very good idea to buy it here when you expect it basically to fall but the target is 4000 that is the the not long-term target that is something that's going to happen when probably in the next month or two so at this stage we are expecting a pullback towards the 20 exponential, something that's similar to this, and that is basically the entry point for this market. So we are going to continue climbing in this market. These, the time when we basically fell uh, roughly uh, eight, nine percent within two weeks, those, that's probably over for now. So smooths like this are most likely going to be, are gonna be very rare. So we'll see something similar to this and similar to this going on from now because there's just so much liquidity in the market and there's going to be even more um, uh, capital injection into the market uh, by stimulus um, when uh, we arrive in January, February. So looking at the technical indicators for here, they are looking very bullish indeed. There is still room to the upside. We're at 66 in the RSI, not overbought at this stage, but this could turn around in an instant because we're getting quite overstretched. We have been rallying since all the way down to 3,239 and up towards 3,700. That's roughly 14.5% uh, in one month. That is quite significant when you consider that usually in average this um, uh, a year this gains eight to nine percent so at this point i'm looking for a pullback in order to enter this market so let's look at the dow jones so the dow jones has rallied up towards uh 30,200. it has not broken this level here we tried several times or three times in the past uh, three trading sessions and we have not managed to break that it is probably only a matter of time before we break above here and then go towards 13,500 and then 31,000. But also here, I'm looking for a pullback towards the 20 exponential in order to enter this market. So the 20 exponential is right here at 29,655 and we'll most likely never get there. 30,000 will probably be where you should enter this market. That's roughly there. So at the low point, at this uh, market that's probably where you should enter in order to buy this uh, for quite a long run because we're heading towards 35 uh, 30 uh, 500 and then 31,500 is already up here and that's not that far away technical indicators for this are well they're looking to look quite mixed macd is basically flat the stochastic is turning around and the cci is also turning around so the rsi is still bullish and there's a lot of room to the upside so we'll see um, if we get something similar to this, getting close towards the 20 exponential, then I'll enter this market for a buy. No interest in basically selling this at this stage. So let's look at the NASDAQ. And the NASDAQ has pierced the very highs here. We're trading at 12,627. We're up 0.25%. And uh, earlier this day, we basically broke down, but we basically got towards 12,530 and then rallied from there. Um, it is expected or highly expected for the NASDAQ to pull back. You just look at the RSI here. We're at 83 in the, in the RSI. We are significantly 
overbought at this stage. Uh, so we have been rallying all the way from, um, it was uh, 10,700, and that's roughly 15.3%. Uh, we have been rallying in one month, which is absolutely enormous rally. So a pullback towards the 20 exponential will be something like this. That's a move around uh, minus 2.6 or 7%. And then you basically can target um, 30, uh, 13,000. That is basically the target uh, when we get that pullback. So that will happen maybe this week. It is um, the last time the RSI was this high was back here. So RSI was roughly um, roughly 86 at this stage when we had this major, major pullback here. So we fell from the very highs to the bottom here, roughly 14.2% uh, in only two, three weeks. So when the, R when the RSI in the um, NASDAQ gets this high, it can be very, very uh, nasty when it basically falls. So that's the reason why I don't enter this market. I want to see it pull back and get stability uh, and see it start uh, increasing again in order to enter this market. Otherwise, technical indicators for this are still fairly bullish. The MACD is bullish. RSI is bullish, stochastic is flat, and the and the RS, CCI is flat, and the stochastic is flat, and we're basically at the top of the bullish band. So there are things that are showing signs that we are getting way overstretched, and we need a pullback towards the 20 uh, exponential moving average, and that's a fall of roughly where we are now towards the 20. That's around 430 uh, points. So let's look at Netflix. So Netflix has pulled back today, which was kind of expected. It was not, it, it showed sign of strength in the beginning, but then we found a uh, major resistance here. And that is the previous, around the previous highs. We actually pierced that previous highs. But these technical units have actually turned around. We are nearly overbought. We were overbought, uh, but stochastic is looking fairly weak. The Bollinger we're way out of sight of the Bollinger Bands. And uh, the CCI is also turning around. The RSI is turning around. It's basically the MACD is still bullish. But usually it takes one or two, maybe three trading days before the MACD basically um, um, starts moving in the same direction, for example, as the CCI. So at this stage, we could basically roll around and head towards the 50 moving average. That's... Uh, Another buying opportunity, the lower this gets, basically the better opportunity in order to buy this. No interest in basically shorting this because we could head towards 573 at any stage. Actually, tomorrow it could basically break above here and then we rally all the way to here. It's highly unlikely when we are almost out of bot, but it is possible. So Microsoft has started its uh, rally, which has been expected for a very long time now. There's nothing has happened in the last uh, week or two in uh, Microsoft stock, and now today we're up 1%. So if we can manage to clear the tops here, that will head us all the way up towards this area here at 225, and then towards 228, and then probably to the all-time highs here. There's a lot of room to the upside. Indicators are turning around. They're not very bullish at this stage, but they are turning around. So. No interest in basically selling this. I am a buyer in Microsoft stock, and I expect this to climb, um, increase to those very highs. So Apple has yet again, it had pulled back and then rallied. At this stage, I think that we are just going to see a continued rally up towards, or just grind slower uh, to these very highs. So there's going to be uh, resistance here at the 125 and then to the very highs of 138. Um, so if we manage to break this top, then we are going to the very highs. No one's just basically selling this. The more it falls, the more I'll basically buy of Apple stock. Technical indicators are turning around. They are fairly bullish, all of them. So yes, pullbacks are buying opportunities. So Amazon, um, this has been 
very weird for this month. This should have been the month where everybody basically went online buying things on Amazon. But Amazon stock has been absolutely dreadful. We have been falling, falling, falling. and But this candlestick here is quite encouraging. So we fell towards 3,120 and then rallied. And now we've created this hammer here. And that could be an indication that we, we have found bottom here. I was expecting to find bottom down here, but we could have found bottom there. And we could start a rally now towards uh, these highs here at 3,373. But it has to be seen. These technical indicators have to turn around. They're very flat or uh, bearish at this stage. So they have to turn around in order to see this market go higher. I'm not interested in basically selling this. I am buying. So Tesla has rallied yet again. Um, well, it's just Tesla. So we are at 85 at this point. It is significantly overbought and the stock is absolutely overvalued. It's like a PE ratio of over a thousand. And um, I don't know who is buying this at this stage. Um, I'm just trying to tell you it's not a good idea. What you're going to see is something similar to this. So a fall, a roughly um, a quarter of the value of the stock. That is what you're going to see. It's going to fall from here all the way down to the 50 moving average. This is roughly at this stage 26%. So it's very tricky to short this because it can turn around at any stage. You can just see it here where it fell roughly 8.5% uh, and then rallied uh, all the way up here to uh, almost 20%. So, But when you get this overbought and you have a stock that is so overvalued, it can become extremely volatile. So um, take care of the, for the people that basically are buying at this stage. Uh, Technical indicators are, um, at least the MACD is very bullish. Uh, we have some room to the upside in the, MACD, in the Bollinger Band. We don't have any room to the upside in the RSI. And the CCI and the stochastic are becoming flat. So we could see uh, quite a big pullback tomorrow or the end of this week. So Facebook, we have pulled back quite a bit and then rallied again. So it is, it is difficult to say where we are going at this stage. We had tried to take out this price level here several, three times now, and we did not manage to do that. And usually what happens is that you roll around towards the 50 and then you try again. And Stochastic has basically been an indication that it's going to happen here. It is becoming fairly bearish at this stage, uh, while the CCI is flat, but the MACD and RSI are still bullish. So we could also see that the 20 exponential will, uh, will act as support and then will rally up towards these highs. But we have to take out these previous um, highs here, roughly 292. So it is basically in the limbo at this stage. It is in the middle of nowhere, and therefore I'm just going to stay away from it. It needs a clear sign that we're heading up or a clear sign that we're heading down before we're heading up, because up, we're definitely going. So Google, we continue our fall towards the 20 exponential, but I think this is probably as far as we will go in the, at this stage. We'll probably have one more day, see something similar to this, head towards the 20 exponential, and then have a massive rally of roughly 3% the next day, 2.5% or something like that, and then continue the rally. So the target here is 2,000, and uh, yeah, I would not be surprised if we went to 2,000 at the end of this month. Um, so we'll see. I am... I'm buying the pullbacks when they occur, uh, but they have not occurred at this at this stage yet. We need to fall towards the 20 in order for this and and pull back and rally from there in order to get a real good uh, deal on this stock. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.